Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Again, we want to thank our patrons. We couldn't do it without you guys and your support. And every video goes up on Patreon. And, you know, depending on what the subject matter is, uh, we go between Evolutionary EE Arts and we will be coming up with uh, some new material for, for Hearts Home as well. There's been so much news-wise to keep up with so many things during this apocalyptic unveiling and meanwhile th here i'm seeing it called the 4.7 quake uh this is in the greater los angeles area as you see 11 miles from rancho cucamonga uh, i've seen it labeled a 4.6 and a 4.2 as well uh the second earthquake in the la area of of about four or better uh, since the beginning of 2024 again 2024 as we've said i do think that one of the things will be known as is going to be the year of great quakes big earthquake activity so this one uh just hit us as you know a foreshadowing of, of what's coming and we've seen a ton of these this is another fire this is a massive fire more than 100 firefighters battling this fire at Elizabeth Warehouse in New Jersey, two roofs collapsed. The fire is spread to three warehouses as well. And part of this was the old Singer factory that was built in the 1800s. So, you know, a historic landmark as well. Um, they say this is going to burn for days. And, and right now what was being produced in there, as far as I've seen, is mostly toys. Um, although they did warn, again, toys are, in a lot of cases, made of plastics that are very toxic and, you know, of course, not good to breathe. This, I don't know if this was said in jest because I haven't been able to see anything connected to it, um, but it says information spreading online. There may be a military ed aid for Kiev there. Maybe he was joking about it or maybe it is real, but I haven't seen anything but news sources saying these factories were uh, storing um, just basically toys. So we'll see. We'll see. You know, nothing would surprise me at all at this point in time. Mm. Well, I, you know, I'm feeling something a little bit different than toys, but, you know, what, what we'll see. Well, I'm feeling like substances, substances that people are making a lot of money off of. Oh, uh, what? Uh, you know, it could be anything from prescription to illegal to oh. um, something that's traded, but that's that's what I'm picking up that's in there. So it's like somebody's blowing, doing a big blow to somebody's pocketbook. Okay. Well, again, as as we know, you know, there really is organized crime out there. Uh, yeah, it's called government, yeah. and, <laughs> and we're not kidding. Meanwhile, images from Ellsworth Air Force Base near Rapid City, South Dakota. Wreckage of a B-1B Lancer heavy bomber with the 28th bomb wing, which crash landed last night at the base during a training exercise, causing several explosions and a large fire. Uh, four members of the flight crew were able to safely eject from the aircraft. And, you know, meanwhile, obviously, we still have the ongoing war in Ukraine. We still have the ongoing uh, war slash crimes against humanity going on in Gaza. And then we have Megyn Kelly saying something. Let me let, let me put this for you guys to listen to, because if you've catched if you caught what we've said when it comes to Epstein, uh, you know, we get that he's not dead. Now, we do get Biden is, the real Biden, uh, and we do get the real Hillary is is not here anymore either. Let's listen to what Megyn Kelly had to say. It's all fascinating, and we're, we're not, not done, done with Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. I, can I can tell you that for a fact. fact. can't tell you how I know, but I can tell you for a fact we're going to hear a lot more about Jeffrey Epstein in the coming year, uh, and you may be even hearing from him directly. More on that as I'm allowed to tell you. It's all fascinating, and please. More on that. Directly. More on that. Him. Directly. More on that. She liked that. She liked saying that directly. Now, probably they're just going to pull out some tape, some voice recording or something. They're not going to pull him out and say, ha ha, he's not dead. Uh, you know, they don't want to interrupt his 
vacation in Barbados or wherever he is at this point in time. But yeah, oh, there's going to be a lot of twists, uh, a lot of twists, you know, and uh, I mean, there's talk that Clinton is talking about suing certain entities because they're jumping all over this. Uh, and of course, there's so many names constantly coming out. And I knew when we did the, the video, I, I understand people are tired of politics. Politics, again, it is organized crime. It is. Yeah, and they, they use it to their benefit. And the corruption is at such an extreme level that, you know, again, you, you really can't fix the system. There has to be an alternative. And, and there will be in time. But this is absolutely going to be interesting to watch. It is. You know, I, I, I agree with you. I think it's going to be something like, you know, video or something he said or we'll, we'll see. But it is curious that she brought it up the way she did. Yeah, and even though, you know, the WWE, again, to use an analogy, WWF in, in my day growing up, we all know it's fake. We all know this is fake. This is all scripted. Yet it still makes for drama that can draw people in and keep us watching because re lives really are at stake. They really are at stake. That's the unfortunate part of all of this. Um, but this is entertainment for people, and they... Those that are on the screen, they do a good job at playing their part. To show you how screwed up this world system is and how much it's not looking out for the health of anybody. Again, your, your government doesn't look out for your health. I don't care if you're in Russia, China or the U.S. or U.K. or Canada or, you know, name a nation. Uh, maybe there's some tiny little island out there that is governed, as we would say, in, in a benevolent manner. I don't know of it. And and the ones that I think do have leaders that try to do that, well, we saw we saw like five African leaders leave the planet in like in a year with the plague upon the land and all of them were speaking up against something. <clears throat> and all of them, you know, left the planet early. Meanwhile, you have states like Oregon passing measure 110 3 years ago decriminalize the use of hard drugs like heroin, meth, and cocaine. And, you know, they go and say this is okay. And when you look at the stuff that is legal, often it's just as deadly. It really is just as deadly as this stuff. It just might take a little bit longer. Uh, but why is the system so concerned with things like raw milk? organic eggs, grass-fed beef, and other nutritious foods. As they're ra raiding Amos Miller's organic farm, an Amish organic farm in Pennsylvania, because they don't want you healthy. This is the reality. You know, they want to hand you some slop to eat that's going to have all sorts of carcinogens in it, just to put it plainly. That is, that is about as plain as you can get. They want to give you uh eat food if you can call it that to eat you know made up of crickets mealworms and you know all sorts of nitrates uh it'll probably throw a little formaldehyde in there you know th they'll throw in all sorts of things you know they'll add their artificial dyes and etc cetera, etc cetera, their high fructose corn syrup to make sure that you're going to be on your way to diabetes and it's all going to be fda approved yeah, it, it, it's, it's all guaranteeing a faster uh, exit from the 3D world. Why? Because this stuff, good, solid, organic, natural food, has healing properties. And they don't want us healing. They don't want us healthy. They want us dumbed down. They want us just drinking gallons of fluoridated water. They just, they can't have a society in which people live long, healthy lives thinking clearly. Mm, definitely not thinking clearly. And, and you know, things like raw milk, I mean, it's so good for healing the gut. It's so good for healing the whole system. And they're going to let other things like, you know, the hard drugs go and, you know, just go and 
make it so you can't get a gallon of raw milk to help heal your gut or your child's gut and that's going to be the thing where people end up in so much trouble i mean even even where i'm at you know and it's a lot of places all over in the states i mean they guard raw milk more than they guard all the hard drugs <laughs> in the world it's like people are afraid to even speak of it you, you can't even say it's for my pet around here you can't people are just too afraid and that's the type of the type of world we live in and it's it's just so bothersome because we keep you know we do we're pulling people out of the river as they come as we can but we need to go up and find out why they're falling in the river in the first place and if we were to help people realize how important your gut is your gut health really is people a lot of them would stop falling in the river but we're just not there yet i guess well we we do our best here and as we know life expectancy for the people in the u.s canadians as well many places it's dropping like a rock it's dropping like a rock and what else is dropping sperm counts fertility rates miscarriages are through the roof the system either is a complete failure and needs to go bye-bye or they're not failing. They just don't really have your health at mind. Listen to these two little guys, will you? They're going, they're going back to bed. They're going back to bed. They say, wake me up when, it, when we're out of the dark age. There is the awakening going on. Again, a lot of people can't accept the fact that everything they've based as real and substantive in their lives is based on lies. It's based on, on coercion. It's based on sales. And they've been selling us totally, totally inaccurate information, especially when it comes to you know, what is good and healthy and what is not healthy. You know, most people, unfortunately, still go right into those middle aisles in the grocery store. And not enough people are really growing their own field or food or going and and going to these farmers markets and going direct to small farmers. You know, again, you have even in times of hardship and tremendous inflation when it comes to food, farmers being paid not to produce or they're told they could grow GMO soybean or GMO corn. And, you know, it's just ridiculous because the reality is the system, they want you completely dependent on the system. They cannot have a population that can support itself without the system. And this is what is going on. And this is all that they are, are working on achieving so the more we can wake up people the better got to work on that self-sustaining absolutely as always guys thanks for being part of the family make sure you are subscribed to all the channels source bless and namaste namaste